Hello there everyone and welcome back to the next Munalist mock update video and in this video I work on the road and I kind of expand that a little bit and then I also work on the walkway that connects the two large scale buildings that I've been working on the past few episodes and then I also talk a little bit about the uh, video for next week for Munalist which is going to be kind of a big general overview of everything that's been done in the mock so far so I talk a little bit about that at the end of the video but overall pretty exciting episode so without any further ado let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did for this episode was work on the path. So throughout the whole build, I've been having this kind of interesting path going on with light gray and dark gray and trying to have this pattern where the light gray is kind of the predominant color, but then we've got these kind of patterns of dark gray kind of like spiking in and out to create kind of this weird diagonal pattern. So that's kind of what I've been doing to transition from the battlefield over to the actual city portion. So what I did to start off this video was I went down to this area over here and essentially this was all empty um, last episode so that was all empty and a lot of this middle part was empty so I went in and started to do this middle part kind of right here went through and did a lot of that and then came up through this middle um, area right here with the other two buildings and all this was empty pretty much this whole part was empty from like down here upwards so I completed all of this there's a few gaps still I needed to find some more one by ones I ran out of my one by ones of like light gray and dark gray so i need to find some more that way i can fill in these remaining gaps but yeah this is kind of what we are looking like and again ideally the path slash road is going to go the way, all the way through the rest of the actual city um, but for now i kind of have found a good stopping point where i'm at um, in front of these two buildings so i think it looks pretty good i'm definitely really really happy with the path i think i mean the the only downside to it is it's taking up a lot of parts um, but I kind of expected that going in just because of how much space there is to cover in between the actual buildings because there's a lot of open space in between the buildings since it is kind of an urban build. Um, but that's okay because I do enjoy the pattern and look of the kind of road design. And if we take a step back, this is kind of what we're looking at for the pattern overall. Again, it's just kind of one of those small things by each time I add something new to it. It pretty much just adds to the overall build and make it seem more complete. It's, it's a, the small details, you don't, like the small details is not stuff you think about um, for large buildings, but the small details really combine all together to create um, the build, like the overall build once it's done and it really complements it well. Because obviously these buildings are the big attractions, but the road complements the buildings. So it's kind of important to make sure this road looks good and complete. So, so far this is what we're looking at. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this kind of road pattern if you're liking it uh, again adding by adding in a lot of the studs um, it actually gives it some texture so it's not super flat so that's the reasoning behind having some studs and some one by one plates with studs on top just to kind of give it some texture so it's not super flat because that was something I was worried about was having this area be way too flat so I'm trying to add in lots of texture to make it more interesting but yeah this is what we're kind of looking at for the road definitely liking it so far let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the road all right so the next thing i need to do here for this episode as you can see i've got the walkway back there i believe i've showed that in the previous episode if not i'll put a clip of that um, in this video but that walkway is planning to go from this building over to this building to kind of connect both of them because in the screenshots there seemed to be some sort of balcony or walkway or hallway or something so i'm just going to put that walkway right over there and we're going to see what it looks like so i got to find a way to attach it um, but the idea is that it'll go over there, you can have some droids sitting up top shooting at each other, and then maybe there's some battles like from each building, so the clones or droids are over here shooting at um, the other team on this side, so there'd be some really cool battles going on there, so I'm going to find a way to attach it to this building, and we'll kind of see what it looks like, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I have now connected the walkway to the actual building itself, so now it goes across here, pretty much exactly what I was envisioning here. Um, the big question when I show you guys the wide shot here is do you guys think this should be in the mock at all because it when I was planning this this kind of portion of the build and I was looking at the screenshots I was like oh yeah I'll just do a walkway in between there and I think it looks okay but you'll see in the wide shot here I'm just curious if you guys think it sticks out too much like did it look better without the walkway um, does the walkway make it look just kind of weird does it stick out in the way um, I'm not really too sure how I feel about it yet I'd be totally I'd be totally fine with just taking it out altogether because I know it looked um, pretty good without this walkway but yeah this is the walkway right here connected across I'm going to set up some figures to show you guys kind of what this walkway would look like in action before we can decide whether or not we should keep this walkway 
or get rid of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have attached the walkway to both sides of the buildings. Also, one other thing to note here is this episode might be a little bit shorter because next episode, I'm actually planning on doing an overview of everything that I've got done so far. So I'm gonna set up a bunch of figures and do some awesome, awesome cinematic things and kind of show you guys what I've got done so far on the mock. So this episode, I'm just kind of touching up a few small things like the road and the walkway so that I can prepare for the big overview episode of everything that's been done so far. So this episode might be a little bit shorter. Just wanted to let you guys know real quick. All right, guys, this is what we are looking like with some figure setup and the full walkway actually in place right there. So I showed you in the last clip, the walkway was set up. You can see it across right there from kind of this wide shot. And that's kind of how some droids might be up there where they're kind of, you know, prone on the ground or standing up like the super battle droids. And then you can kind of see in the corner, hopefully it's okay to see. Hopefully you can see it. I've got a clone trooper right there who's getting shot by that super battle droid and he's kind of like about to fall off. So there's a lot of cool possibilities um, in terms of figure setups with this actual walkway. And then down here, because of those droids on the walkway, you can see I've got some clone troopers set up behind this, on um, the building up there, as well as that destroyed pillar, and they're kind of shooting up at the position of the droids. And we've got the blue lieutenant over there with some troops lined up and pinned down against the building, and then we've got the red captain as well, and I'll probably be utilizing those guys as my ARC troopers. I'll probably get some Clone Army Customs cloth and make the red captain Captain Fordo, and then make the blue... Um, Lieutenants make them just like the ARC troopers from 2003 Clone Wars. I think that's what I end, I'm going to end up doing. It's probably going to be a cheaper alternative than just buying like the custom Clone Army custom figures, but we'll see what happens. Um, but for now, that is the plan. So you guys will now have to let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the walkway? Should I keep this walkway or do you think it looked up better without the walkway? Um, I can go both ways on it. I really think. I don't know, I like the idea of putting figures right there and it looks kind of, it looks like the screenshot where there's kind of a uh, walkway connecting the pillars, but at the same time, I feel like it almost takes away from the two buildings. I don't know. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about it, but I wanted to get a wide shot and some figures set up as well to kind of show you guys what it would be like in action. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think about the walkway. Again, I might leave it up for a couple episodes and then kind of determine maybe, you know, two episodes from now. Maybe I'll be like, you know what, I don't really like the walkway much anymore and get rid of it, but I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about it and what your thoughts are of the walkway because I'm not sure. I do like that it kind of adds a different dynamic and level to the actual build, and it just kind of adds a new, I don't know, just more dynamic and difference in the build so it's not just a plain um, buildings, but I think the buildings looked fine without the walkway, so definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say. Also, here's a little Easter egg. I've actually got a droid right there, and you can see I've got a custom version of the like 2003 from that scene with the gunship crash where one of the droids has like a super interesting sniper rifle that shoots like fully automatic but he he kind of aims it like it's a rocket launcher or something so I've got that custom thing right there I've had that actually for a few years but it's exciting to be able to finally use it so I just put some different pieces together to kind of make it that custom sniper and he's got the scope and everything on there too so presumably that's what's pinning down all these troops down here is that um machine gun sniper i mean you really don't know what to call it because it's essentially a long range like squad automatic rifle pretty much in the show but yeah that's kind of what i've got going on up here again here's some droids where they would kind of be positioned on the balcony or sorry on this walkway right there and shooting down at the clones and then of course there's that poor clone trooper who's getting shot by the super battle droid and getting ready to fall down there so again there's some cool angles to be had with with this walkway right there um but yeah here's just kind of another close-up view of it Here's another cool angle from the opposite backside of the mock right here. We've got our two buildings and then there's the walkway. Again, I'm just kind of trying to show you guys a bunch of different interesting camera angles and stuff to kind of show off the walkway. But I think the walkway actually looks best from back here because you can kind of look down and see like the entrance all the way down there. Um, and then I've got a hellfire right there for kind of interesting vehicle for the separatists to have. And then you can kind of, I like how there's something on top of the actual like down here, so you can get some interesting shadows going on, and then it just makes it feel like a larger, kind of the scale feels better because you have like multiple layers and things like above minifigures and below minifigures, I don't know. I feel like from this angle it works pretty well, especially when you kind of go into here and you can see some clone troopers down there and they're kind of shooting up at the droids. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this quick look from the back of the build, uh, just to kind of show you guys what it looks like from back here. All right, and I think that'll probably do it for this episode. Again, my apologies for it kind of being probably a little bit of a short episode but essentially what happened was 
I wasn't doing much interesting things this episode, like I was just expanding the road, so I didn't want to go like step by step on the road because you guys have kind of seen that before um, as one of my lights dies right there, so that's perfect timing. Um, and then the walkway, there really wasn't too much to it since I already had, I already had this built and then I just had to attach it. So it really wasn't a whole lot going on in this episode, but don't worry because next week what I'm gonna do is set up a whole bunch of different figures and I'm gonna get some cool cinematic shots with uh, my slider and camera and everything like that. So I'm gonna get some cool cinematic shots next week for what I'm gonna call the overview, which will be, I think, episode 12. So it'll kind of just go through everything that I've done before and you'll kind of get a big overview and some cool detail shots of everything that's been done on the build so far. So I think it's gonna be a really, really exciting episode. So essentially this upcoming week, I'm gonna be putting a lot of time into that to make it a very cinematic and cool video to kind of celebrate uh, 12 episodes and kind of everything that's been done so far. So that kind of explains maybe a lackluster episode this week, but nonetheless, interested to hear what your guys' feedback is on the kind of walkway or bridge up here in particular, because I could go both ways. We'll see, we'll leave it up for a few episodes and kind of see what we think later. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode and we'll move on. And I guess we'll go ahead and go on to the, uh, to the outro. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. Again, stay tuned for next week's Mutalist mock update where I'm gonna be doing a general overview of everything that's been built in the mock so far and I'll be setting up some figures and doing kind of a cool mini cinematic video. So stay tuned for that. It should be a pretty exciting episode. So that's pretty much it. Uh, leave your feedback about the uh, bridge slash walkway. Let, let me know what you think about that. And of course, let me know any feedback or ideas you have on the mock overall. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, leave your feedback in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great day and may the force be with you always.